Hey guys, what's going on, man? Happy Easter. I am currently sitting here in Ottawa, Kansas. Uh, got a load that picks up tomorrow at noon. Hopefully I don't jinx myself. So I'm not sure if I'm going to hang out here for the night or take off in the morning. So, But I'm currently in Ottawa, Kansas. It is raining. Give you a little look. Rain, 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 rain. So anyhow, a uh, video I wanted to touch on is concerning a question that's asked all the time. And, and it should be. I mean, people should be asking this question. But it's about how much money do you make? And this is going to be how much money I make. And I'm going to preface this with this is not typical. Uh, I would I would consider myself at the higher, higher end of the spectrum of earnings for an expediter. And that's because I'm in service a lot. Uh, I am fully into this lifestyle now granted there's going to be people that's probably more than me but i'm just saying that these results are not typical but at least it's an understanding you should be able to take the numbers that i give you and it should give you a good some good groundwork to do your research and to ask questions whenever you call carriers or fleet owners or go to get your own van or whatever it may be because i'm going to give you every I'm going to give you as many numbers as I have available to help you understand what's involved in doing what we do and making the money that I make. So I'm going to start off by giving you uh, the expenses. My expenses, I consider true operating costs. This isn't my tax deduction expenses. This is what I consider true operating costs. Van payment, insurance, gas repairs and maintenance, uh, hotel stays, tolls, laundry that I that I pay for on the road, uh, any kind of miscellaneous uh, charges that come up from that's directly relating to being on the road. Not, because if we all did buy tax write-offs, this job isn't worth it by far. Uh, we, we, can, we can write off losses. We can write off if we've only made $1,000 for a year. I mean, this job wouldn't be shit. And to a lot of people, they don't feel it's shit. So... I'm going to just talk about true operating costs. And as I mentioned to you, what I have listed here, I have I have van payment, insurance, tolls, hotels, repair maintenance, gas, miscellaneous expenses, laundry, and van washes. For the year, my total expenses out of all those I listed is $38,676.96. That's my total expenses. Now, I'm also gonna I'm gonna put on the screen uh, some numbers that are averaging things out. The average, the, you know, the percentage of my expense cost, you know, what takes it up, and uh, so on and so forth. For the year, I did 110,475 loaded miles. My total deadhead miles was 11,623. My relocate miles, which is the miles that I chose to leave from where I delivered to get into a better area to get freight, that was 13,582. So that gives me a total of 135,678 total miles driven in the van uh, while expediting. I had 84 days that I was completely out of service to where I was not taking a load, nothing. That's to where I wasn't, you know, even if they called and had anything, I wasn't taking. I was completely out of service for 84 days out of the year last year. So the number you guys want to hear is the gross income. My gross income is $107,750.79. That was my 2019 gross revenue. Which makes my net revenue $69,073.83. I feel it's a solid living. You may feel like it's not nothing. You may feel like it's just crap. I'm not here debating whether I make more money than you or you make more money than me. I'm just here to give you the numbers. Now with all that totaled up and do all the math, I'm going to read to you uh, off of my iPad because I can't remember the numbers and you know, they want you to make eye contact with the camera, but I can't right now. So, uh, the rate per mile that I got, my average rate per mile with just loaded miles and my total total gross was $0.98 cents per mile. 
Now you add my loaded and my deadhead, and the deadhead is the is the miles that it takes from the point they dispatch you that you have to go pick up and then get loaded and then go. So that average per mile is 88 cents per mile. Now all miles total, the average rate is 79 cents for all miles driven. That's relocate, deadhead, and loaded. Uh, my cost per mile, so my cost per mile is 29 cents. That's what it cost me to run this van per mile. My average deadhead was 72 miles. The average amount of miles I relocated was 84 miles. The average length of the run, I, the load I took was 682 miles. 6% uh, of my total expenses were repair and maintenance related. 2% was tolls. 49% was gas. 24% uh, was my van payment. 17% was my insurance. Uh, miscellaneous expenses ended up being really minute. It wasn't even, uh, it was like .0006. Uh, laundry expense, .06 of a percent. Uh, van wash, .65%. And my hotel stays was .66%. So that is the breakdown of all the numbers. Uh, if you want anything else, uh, comment below, ask. I'll give you whatever whatever I have that I didn't talk about in this video. But this information should be enough for you to, as I said, lay some groundwork, be able to do the math, understand what, what kind of uh, money you should be trying to get as far as the averages are concerned. Uh, again, you can figure out by those averages and talking to recruiters, talking to fleet owners, all of that good stuff. It should help you make decisions when uh, when trying to make the choice whether to get into expediting. And if you do, what carrier to go with, what fleet owner to go with, so on and so forth. I am an owner-operator. I own my own van. I am leased on with a carrier. So that is my situation. Now at the end of this video, I'm going to link some videos that, uh, to a playlist of uh, weekly load recaps. Uh, that's where I just go over the amount of miles and everything that I've done each week. So if you want to check that out, just to get an idea of where I've ran, how many miles I'm running, things like that, I advise you to do that. So until next time, guys, hopefully this helped you out and everybody be safe out there.